Hello, I'm Brian from Desert Fabworks Custom Welding and Fabrication. And today I'd like to do a short video on wiring up custom LED rocker switches. In this video here, we're going to be taking showing you some really cool plates and mounting hardware as well as switches from All American Performance Parts. They have over 40 different combinations of plates and switches. We have blue, purple, green LED rocker switches, and we also have many different cool plates like these this one here that has a carbon fiber look there's some they have a brushed steel look and also this one here is a powder coated white color so let's get into what it takes to take and wire up a lighted LED rocker switch there's some basic tools that you're going to need that will take and make this whole process a lot easier so let's take a closer look at some of the tools involved Okay, we talked about stripping and crimping our wires. So let's show a real basic uh, strip, cut, and crimp. So with your wire, you take and cut off a piece, and this is our wire that we want to take and put a terminal on. So we've got a clean end. We're going to take and strip the wire, and about a quarter inch is going to be good. See how easy that was? Take and now insert it into your correct size terminal that matches the wire gauge. And then you can come in here with the crimp tool. It's got this portion here, push down. It makes a very nice, clean crimp. So you wanna check it, give that a pull, make sure that that's properly seated. So now we have a terminal on here that's going to fit onto our switch. We've got the males on here, the females, and it's just gonna slide on just like that. Okay, that's gonna be the basis of all of our connections throughout this entire video. Okay, before we get started, have a look at this document here. It's going to help you to choose your correct wire gauge for your project. You take and pick the number of amps that your uh, light or accessory is going to draw, and then you take and choose the distance that you have to run your wire, and then you find your correct wire gauge for that project. When in doubt, when you're wiring any of these things up, you can always go one wire gauge size larger which is actually going to be a smaller number. That's how wire gauges run. But take and use a bigger wire, and that will take in, provide a little bit of a safety factor in there. Always make sure, too, that you use stranded wire instead of solid wire. Solid wire is what you'd use in a home to where it's not going to move. In a vehicle, things are going to move around, there's vibration. So you want to use a stranded wire in there. Okay, for our first example, we're going to take and set up a really simple circuit. Take a look at this diagram. It shows two lights being powered by a lighted rocker switch. We have an inline fuse, and we also have our grounds. So you can follow the wire path. We have the, each light is grounded, and then we have a common power lead that comes back to the switch, and that goes into the load, or on the switches, it's labeled as accessory. We have our 12 volt power coming in that goes to the supply, on the switch where we have power and then we also have a ground off the switch so you can take and pause the video take a look at the diagram and then after you're done look at the diagram we can take and continue with the video okay so here's how we set up that simple circuit we have our power source 12 volt battery and we've got our positive terminals in red are negative in black. We have an inline fuse coming off our positive terminal. On our negative side over here, we have two grounds in this example. Our light, which would normally have a chassis ground really close to where it was installed, we're running back to the power source in this case. Our second ground here is going to be going to our switch. So let's start off with the, the ground since we've got that set up. We have our ground to our switch. It's labeled ground. We can make that connection there. Then we want to take and put in our accessory. So off the positive terminal of our light, in this case the LED, we take and come off here to our accessory. Plug that in there. Our positive terminal coming off our battery with our inline fuse. We make that connection here. Take and turn the switch on. We get our light indicating that the power is going out to our accessory and we have our lighted accessory on. Both are off, both are on. 
Makes it great so you don't take and forget uh, that you actually had something turned on even during the daytime. These are plenty bright. Okay, here's our practical application. These lights are already installed, but the installation procedure and everything else is the same. We have two off-road lights that we're gonna take in and power. You can see down in here, we have our negative. It's gonna be coming off the light. It's going to a chassis ground. Same on this one over here. We have just a small ring terminal that we have and goes into a same mounting spot that we're using for our light mount. Okay, so now up at our battery, we want to get positive into the cab. So we take and use another ring terminal, just like this here. We hook it to our battery post and then we run a wire into our cab and that brings our positive battery power in. So we're running a couple of connections here. We've got the positive coming from the battery terminal here, and then we've got a positive lead that comes from our light and goes into the cab. Okay, so let's go take a look inside the cab. Okay, inside the vehicle, you need to take and find the spot where you're gonna locate your switch panel. In this case, we've got the carbon fiber switch panel to five position, five switch mounting panel, custom cut and designed from all American performance parts. The carbon fiber tends to be really popular right now and that's what we've got here. So you gotta select your location within easy reach, taking mounting options are enormous for, for different positions, vehicles. There's too many to list here so we're just gonna simulate the, the panel being installed up on the dash. So we've got our switch panel up there and we have to take and bring our wires in from the engine compartment. So we got a positive lead that we're gonna have come in underneath the dash. Up underneath the dash, we're gonna bring in a positive lead that is coming from the battery and we're also gonna bring in the positive coming in from our lights. We've got the ground that's gonna be hooked up for each light out there. And then inside here, we're gonna use any good chassis ground for all of our grounding. Now, same as before in the diagram, we wanna take and use a fused connection on all of our positive. And then for our negatives, we can use ring terminals to make our connections here in the cab. So I've gone ahead and hooked up, made all the connections on the back of the, the switch panel. Same circuits as before, same design, just sped everything up and installed it. So you take and flip on the switches. Now this is really bright sunlight that we have in here right now and you can still see really well the illumination. We got the green, a purple, uh, another green, a blue, and a green. The blues definitely are the, the brightest of the switch, switch options. But that is a real simple, down and dirty setup for, for running your connections and powering some sort of accessory. So we've got the switches turned on. We can take and go out and take a look. And there we have our lights are on and working and controlled by our switch. Okay, that concludes our video today on how to wire up a 12 volt lighted LED accessory switch for your vehicle. As you can see, this is something that's really easy to do and simple, and you can take and do it in your garage, at your house, and save a lot of money in the process. All American Performance Parts makes it really easy to do with their precision cut and custom designed switch panels. They also carry the lighted LED rocket switches, which you saw in full sunlight were still really easy to see so you don't forget to take and turn an accessory off. I've got links at the bottom of the video for where you can get your plates and as well as your switches from All American Performance Parts. Thanks for watching.